Welcome back, man. This is a new week, April 6th. I did this on Saturday. Um, this is the Tiny Races. Now, Tiny Races and the Weekly Stages are the only ones I'm going to do in D. The only reason I'm doing the Tiny Races in D is because they're a lot shorter sprints. I may actually do Tiny Races and NDs and NCs, but that means they're going to be a separate four races. Um, this weekend was kind of tough. Two things happened. Um, one is I uh, did some crazy. I'm going to call it crazy. I went out and got... Um, a vaccination shot. I got the CD shot. Everybody know about that one. I had a whooping cough shot, and I got the uh, one more vaccination shot. I ended up doing all three that all three at one time on Saturday, on Friday. Got up Saturday. Felt kind of funny. Got up and raised. After I raised, I was sick the rest of the weekend. I'm finally better. It's Monday morning. You see, I'm doing just great. But them three shots got me. I couldn't do nothing else this weekend, so I had to get up this morning and film this real quick. So I can put it up at least tonight and have one video up. I could not race or anything the rest of this weekend. I was totally gone. But um, <laughs> so yeah, goofy me. Um, I want to thank everybody who subscribed to me. I'm up to 100, 151 view, um, um, subscribers. Come on, we getting now. Come on, let's give me the 200 at least. 200, 200. I know I haven't been putting up a lot of videos, but they will be coming out fast and furious from now on. I wanted to do it this weekend, and I just couldn't get to it. In fact, you know, I'm doing another channel that I hadn't put up yet, which is my homestead channel, Accidental accidental Homesteading. And I haven't put that one up yet, but it will be up soon. Um, I live on like three acres of land, so I've been working on my land, getting it ready for homesteading. I got chickens and all that, so. Um, and I'm doing that. I just hadn't gotten around to getting the videos up and stuff, but they will be up. But I want to thank everyone who subscribed to me everybody who follows me everybody who likes me i also want to um as you know what i do before i race which is really changing a lot of stuff i used to do a 10 minute roll an hour before a race and then i do a five minute cool down then i would wait about 10 minutes before a race and i'll do a nice long stretch and then i would do the race well i've changed that now starting in the third in the second quarter of the year where i do 15 minute rolls and then i do a five minute cool down and then I do the race. That has made a lot of difference. That extra five minutes of rowing, as you see, I put it here, what I did on the rowing on either side of here. And then you see that, and you're gonna see that this is a nice roll for me, but it's not my best times. In fact, these are my best times I've ever had. And this was last year, sometime last year, but I really do row a lot. So you're gonna see that a lot. So with all that being said, I wanna thank everybody. Let's get my views up. I'm trying to get as many views I'm trying to get as many likes as I do views, so I would really love if you got my views, uh, got my likes up. Thank y'all who do like me. Come on, look, if I had 150 views and I had 150 likes, that's, man, that's what I want, man. So please help me out with that. But with all that being said, we're going to get into these two. I put the two best of the four, like I told y'all, whenever I do these, I only put the two best of the four. So I put the two best of the four on, so we're going to get into this race. Let's go ahead and get started. Four, three two, one, and we're off. And as soon as we take off now, the one thing I've learned is all I want to do is stay in the pack. And this is from where I've been racing in C so much, I don't got comfortable, really comfortable sitting inside the pack. Now, pro development ser uh, services, you are right. I do need to leave out, but I'm gonna put a video up that I did Friday. And this was before I got them shots in me. <laughs> that I was going through the day, but I just don't have enough time. I got to get out of here. I got to, I got to get to work about eight o'clock. So it's like seven o'clock. I'm trying to get these videos done, and so I really don't have the time to put up the other video. I'll do it when I get back Thursday, and I'll be full fledged getting into race C races all next weekend with a couple of uh, D races because I am still a true D. So as you see, I'm racing here, and all I'm really trying to do. It's just, you see, I did not pass it. <laughs> you see, I caught up to him, but I did not want to pass him until somebody else got in front of me so I could get, because what I'm trying to do is keep my draft up. You notice, I came up on him hard and fast, but I slowed down just so I don't pass. I've learned how to slow down a little bit so I don't pass people. And what I'm trying to do, when I see my draft numbers go down, I come back, you see, I know slowly drop back into the pack so I can save power. That's the whole goal of this thing from now on. It's just to save power. I'm learning how to race. Moving up to sea really teaching me a lot about racing. 
So I, I you notice, anytime I get, I see my draft numbers go down low, I sneak back into the pack. I, I fall back, you know, I, I slowly fall back into that little pack down. I don't try to get out in front of you. Remember, if you watch any of my earlier races in D's where I win a lot, I was always out in front. Now you barely catch me out there by myself. I'm not doing it. I'm saving, I'm about saving power. I'm about saving energy the whole time. You know, look at me now. I'm right behind. I can take off, but I don't want to. I want to save what I can. I notice that I'm at 68 uh, draft. So when it's, it's a slight incline, but what I do, I slowly fall back in the pack, let people get in front of me and look at my draft number. They go up again. As long as, I, and you see how they go up again, they keep going up and up. And I'm, what I'm trying to do, and save what energy I can. I'm not trying to get out in front and look at me over on the side of my picture. I'm not tired. And I keep adjusting and I and I just stay right there where I'm at. I, I don't try to get out in front of nobody. I don't try to lead the pack. I don't want to do that. My whole goal now is just to be inside the pack. And as we come around here, you see that I get right in line with everyone else and I'm just riding. And I'm just riding really cool and smooth with them. And my goal now is just to make sure that I can serve energy. Now, if you notice, my heart rate is kind of high. And it would normally be, but like I said, I've increased the hydro run, and it really has increased my heart rate in these races. Normally, I'd be sitting at 145, 138, somewhere in there. But I did it 40 minutes before this race. I still felt that hydro run on me. That was weird. So what I said I gotta do is do the hydro at least an hour before I do this, do the ride, and my heart rate should come back down to normal. But I think because I still had, it was still so close, I didn't have a time enough to get it to calm down. So when I took off, it just jumped up. Plus, you gotta remember, I only did 100 miles in March, and I'm used to doing 300 to 400 miles every month. Because right now, I think I'm sitting that right under 9, 900 to 8, 850 to 900 miles for the year. And normally I should have been at about 1,200 miles. But since March kind of, um, I had so much stuff going on in March, I really couldn't ride. I really kind of got out a little bit of my shape that I normally in. So I figured about two more weeks, my heart rate to come back down on naturally. Plus I get used to the hydro. Five minutes may not seem like much, but it's a lot. It really is. I heard somebody say, you don't realize what a minute is until you start exercising. <laughs> it may be true, but I thought it was the funniest thing in the world. But um, as you see, I'm not in front. Normally in my old races, I'd be out in front by myself. It's just being honest. Um, but now I don't I do not do that. I don't attempt that. Now, the big problem with that is, even though it's flat, and I don't think it's a negative flat on the, on the end of it, it's a flat. And I should, what I'm thinking is, in this race, I'm thinking that if I power up enough and I stay close to the lead guy, I can power through and win this round. So that's what I've been doing lately. And I wanted to speed the whole group up, but it meant me getting out in front and starting to run now. And I just didn't want to do that now. Plus, I think I was starting to feel this, the, me being kind of kind of uh, sick from the shots. That'd be enough. My wife is saying that's probably the reason why my heart rate was up too. Because I was, I, man, when I got off this, after I did these four races, I was literally done for the weekend. There was nothing left for me. And I and I just, I was like, she like, how did you pull through them four races? I was like, I just wanted to get them done. But I really did feel this thing, man. And, and I was like, man, I can't believe I did that. Now, when you get back to looking at the front of this race, I forgot to put it in there. I did put in race number three and four. I, I mean, three and four is gonna be right at the end of this race. I posted just the beginning of the next race somewhere now. I put it in between both these races. But I'm gonna talk about it now, three and four. They're gonna be at the front of this thing. So you can see that when you look at the front of the video. Um, and that'll show why I placed in three and four. I know I won this week's series. I'll put that in there too. Uh, I also won this week's series. Uh, this was a great series, man. I, I gotta admit, this was fun, man. Um, these tiny races now, I gotta win a C series now. So C's, yes, I know I've been testing the waters, but I'm coming for y'all. So we're getting close to the end of this thing. And all I'm trying to do is stay with the guys who's in the pack. Now they start to speed up and you see me, my heart, my RPMs. So now what I'm thinking is I can stay right here and just ride it out. And I look up, we have 400, we have 450 meters away. And I'm waiting for somebody to take off. And then out of nowhere, 
one of my old one of one of my teammates come up behind me. You see them jump in front. So now I jump up with them and I'm going, okay, cool. I may have did it just a little too late. And that's what I really was scared of. And then one of my teammates came up at me and he was on it and I looked up and it was a negative. So all I gotta do is really push and I'm pushing, I'm pushing, and we get to the end of this thing and I'm pushing all I can. And just at the end, I get it. Boy, I was proud of that. I gotta admit, y'all, I was really happy with that. So, and, and, and I gotta admit, I was like, wow. I'm almost ecstatic about that. So, back at this. Um, now we back to get ready to do number two. The only reason I paused this video in the middle right now is because I need to put up three and four, and let y'all know what happened in the end of these three or four. Here go the results three or four. And um, I and across the next one and right here on the next side right here should be the results for the whole weekend, how I did. Um, I'm just putting that up there so we can see that. So now with all that up and said, let's get on ahead and get into race number two. Four, three, two, one, and we're off. And if we take off on this one, you'll see, this is a shorter race, but it's number two. And what I have told y'all is no matter what goes on, the heel is the great equalizer when you race me. There's no doubt about it. The heels are the great equalizer when you the flats. I will dominate a lot of that all the time. I'm just being honest with you. Um, me dominating flats are not hard. It's not like some that I, I it's because of the power and the way the game measure out raw power, flats, I get to dominate a lot of that. Now I look at this, then you look at my ground, it goes by what's the main way we might go and it has that big heel. So in my head, I'm thinking, wow, they should really get me on these heels. Cause no matter what I do, when you get into climbing, especially when you get to seven, eight, nine, ten great percent grades, there's nothing I can do with a lot of people. And there's a, I think there's a 12 year old racing in this one. I think it's Alexander. If I got your name wrong, man, I'm sorry about that. I, I couldn't remember. I was, I was looking at it, but I, I saw, I saw that you were like a 12 or 13 year old. Hey man, congrats. Would you keep it up, man? You got a bright future ahead of you, man. Um, as you see, I'm racing on this thing and I'm looking at, I'm staying in the pack. I don't want to really be out in front, but I think a lot of people was kind of letting me get in front. But what I would do slightly is try to back off some and just try to ride. The goal for me is to ride in the pack, even though it's still a flat and I can take off and probably get, if I would have really just hammered it out, I could have probably get, but I, like I said, I was feeling really fun. I'm going to put it this way. I don't never feel like my stomach for the come back up. I ain't gonna say the other one because some people get grossed out by my stomach coming back up, but I felt like I've never really felt like I really was feeling kind of like, wow, I feel sick, man. I can't believe I'm feeling sick. And I didn't understand what was going on. And then, like I said, after the race, I realized I had them shots in me. <laughs> I would never do that again. Um, and uh, man, I, I felt it, man. I, I'm just being honest with you, man. I felt it. And so I'm riding. And I'm looking at, I'm looking at, okay, cool. All I gotta do is just stay close to the pack. And what I know is there's a climb. Now I've done this race enough to know where to climb at. And and like um pro um like pro pro uh development service said there are false jumpers out in front. I, I forgot what they call it, false some. Hey, if you see the video, I'm gonna put it in the put it in the comments so I can remember it. I'll try to write it down so I remember it all the time. But he puts in the comments about that. And you can see here that what I do now is just kind of stay in that pack. You know, I, I don't want to get out that pack. I don't want to get too far back, but I don't want to get out the pack because I know at the end of this race that there's a climb. I know that. I've done it enough to know that climb. That climb is usually, and you know, if I know about this climb, I've done it a lot. That climb is the great equalizer at the end of a race for me. So if y'all racing me, y'all know we got to climb at the end. You kind of know how to race now. When we come down here along here, I can't help but get in front. It's just my weight and the way the game does it. And I just get out in front, but then I try to just kind of ease back, but I can't ease back too much because they allow people just to leave me. So as I'm looking at this thing, I said, well, if I can hold off to the last 250 kilometers, what I've been trying to do now with these is hold off on the last 250 kilometers. And yes, drummer toe, um, uh, toe drummer, drummer, I can't, I'm sorry I'm messing up your name, man. You are right, I do need to leave where this is one of the races where I should have just left. When I came down that decline, I should have just got on the thing and left. And you was right. 
I do need to put a lead in there. Now, I do have a video that's gonna come out Thursday. I'm gonna try to put it out Thursday. Well, I did leave, but like I told you, I'm still not in good shape as I was in February and January. So I should be actually about that around the end of uh, April. I'll be fine to do a lot of that lead not taking off like I normally do. Cause I'm used to racing about four or five regular races, not just swift races. I'm used to, if I do swift races, I've done 10 in a day. I've done uh, the, 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 God, dog, I can't even think of team trials. I've done two of those in one day. I can do a lot of races in a day. So here we go on this climb, and you should see what I'm talking about. The hill is the great equalizer. Look at that, 5%. And I'm sitting right there, and we all in the group. And I'm, look at my wattage. If you watch my wattage, how much I'm putting out, and I'm still getting left. Look at, look at my wattage now. And those numbers, people go, I wish I could have. It doesn't matter. Look at 7.9, almost 8% incline. I'm putting out a thousand watts and I'm getting passed. Look, that's why I talk about heels are great equalizer to me. Um, no matter what I'm doing, I'm putting out a, I'm putting out 900 consistent watts and they're walking away from me. <laughs> you see, that's why I talk about that they're equalizing. Look at my look at my speed. It's just slowly coming down. And I was like, man, I'm in fourth spot right now. And I'm going, oh, he must have got tired right then. And so I come back around and I come in third, third. I want to thank y'all for watching my video. Thank y'all for being there for me. Have a great day and ride on.